Welcome to In the World of Winooski, where we learn about ongoings in our community. I'm Mayor Christine Lott, and today we are talking about Winooski Centennial. Um, Winooski is approaching our 100th birthday as a city next March 7th. And since last spring, a committee of volunteers has been helping us plan a celebration. And with me is the committee chair, Amy Lafayette. Welcome, Amy. Hi, thanks for having me. Really happy to have you and excited to talk about this very auspicious occasion coming right up. Um, can you start by telling me a little bit about the committee and how you all have been working to plan for our celebration? Sure, so let me share my screen with that presentation for you. So yeah, Mayor, like you were saying, you know, Nuski is turning 100 years old on March 7th. And really what this occasion is marking is the day that Nuski became its own city. Um, and a committee was formed to plan a series of events to celebrate. So we've got a really awesome group of people working on this. You know, what's so great about it is that we've got people from all different parts of um, parts of our city represented. So myself, I'm the chair. I'm a former Winooski City Councilor. We've got Meredith Bay Tayak as vice chair, who is the executive director of downtown Winooski. Miriam Block over at the Heritage Winooski Mill Museum, Emily Hecker from the Winooski School District, as well as two Winooski School District students, Indra Ghali and Susanna Wilanja. And then we've got Dan Higgins, who's a really well-known Winooski photographer and also faculty at UVM. Craig Mitchell, who pretty much does everything and anything around Winooski, but is also a founding member of Winooski Strong. Joe Perrin, who is president at the Winooski Historical Society, Paul Sarn, our staff liaison and communications director at the city, and Irene Kruger-Webster from AELV, who also is a performing artist. And I just want to give a shout out to this group. You know, we've been working together for I think eight or nine months at this point, and they've really been full of awesome ideas, and they're bringing a lot of passion to the project. So it's been great to work. It's a really exciting group. There's a lot of different experiences here. Yes, absolutely. So tell us about the work you've all been doing. Yeah, so like I said, we've been meeting for the past eight or nine months, you know, really trying to be thinking about some events that we could plan, especially in the context of COVID. It's obviously changed a lot of what's possible, but, um, you know, we wanted to come up with some events to celebrate the centennial and really center them around two themes, welcoming and opportunity. And those things come from this idea that, you know, Winooski has always been a place where we as a city and people are trying to improve our city and also welcome our next new neighbors. That's our theme. I love that very much in line with our strategic vision and, and themes that I have heard throughout my time serving from, from various community members. Yes, absolutely. So tell us, what do you all have planned? So we've got a lot of different stuff going on. Um, everything kicks off on Sunday, March 6th, so technically one day before the anniversary. We've got a week-long series of events. It's going to be a mix of things that are self-guided, virtual, and in-person. And then we also have some events planned for the warmer weather in the month of June. Um, so to get into specifics, we've got um, the Mill Museum and Historical Society. They're going to be open to every day of the week of the centennial. And for those who don't know, they're located in the Champlain Mill. Um, the Mill Museum especially is going to be putting on a really cool exhibit called Mill to Mall, Historic Space Reimagined. So for those of you that might remember the Champlain Mill back in the 80s and 90s was actually a shopping mall. And they have been collecting photos and stories from people around the city to share their experiences about um, what they remember when it was a mall. And that exhibit will open um, the week of the centennial. We also are going to be putting on a self-guided historical walking tour. So we've got um, a list of places around the city of Lindsay that are historic in some way and short descriptions to describe each one. And folks can participate in this by either downloading the map from our website and walking around themselves. Um, or what's nice about this is that you could also participate from home online. So you'll be able to see these locations on a Google map and read the descriptions. And we also are going to have some pre-recorded audio of each location. 
Um, and we thought that that would be a nice feature, especially um, in terms of accessibility. You know, if someone um, can't get out and walk around or um, has trouble reading, we're offering this audio description for each location as well. Then on Tuesday of that week, we're going to be doing new ski theme trivia at Waterworks, and we'll also have some great prizes to give away. And we're working on an at home component for this as well, so that people can participate from home as well as in person. Then we have a photo exhibit that will be hung up around the city called 100 Faces of Blue Ski. And folks might remember that a couple months ago, we sought out people to participate in a photo shoot. And um, that was taken at the Champlain Mill. We had over 100 people come and participate in that photo shoot, including the mayor. Um, so all of those photos will be hung up and really large portraits all around the city at um, local businesses and you know um, city hall and places around to really show the community this is who we are. Dan Higgins is putting together a photo book of the past 100 years of the museum's history, so going all the way back to the 1920s, and um, hopes to have those um, at our celebration event in the summer to pass out to folks. And also, um, you know, he's really hoping to engage the community in looking at the photo book and hearing people's stories when they see these photos and asking them what sorts of things they remember and what the photos prompt for them in terms of their work. Couple more events just to talk through here. So the Winooski School District, as I mentioned, we've got folks on the committee from the school district and they're doing lots of things with their students. Um, one thing we're really excited to see is they're putting together a music video for the centennial. And they're also going to be working with their students to make birthday cards and they will be celebrating cake and cupcakes at the school. Um, we've also teamed up with PBS to re-air past when you see the documentaries on their TV channels and also on their website. So one of them is the Photo Lounge Chronicles with Dan Higgins. Another one will be about the Great Flood in the Wisconsin's history. And then that's really. Five, oh yeah, sorry, Mary. I was just gonna say that's that's really exciting. I you know it sounds like there's a lot of different ways to engage um, and a lot of different voices to be heard. It's really important to be aware of our history as we look towards our future. Um, and I know you all have been working with the city communications coordinator to put some sort of features on the city's website. You can visit legacy.winuskibt.gov um, and sort of build your anticipation towards this event, right? Yeah, absolutely. Paul Sarn has been doing an amazing job on that section of the website. Um, the feature section includes information about people, places, and traditions, and so he's been doing lots of different write-ups. There was um, one of my favorites was about the history of Halloween in Lanuski, and you know, lots of different photos over the years of that. There was also a great one the other day about Carol Barrett, who is our outgoing city clerk, and just her tremendous history working at the city. So, yes, definitely, you know, feel free to check out the website now. There's lots of information on there, and we'll be adding more as we get all the finalized details about these events as well. That's great. And then I see here, the big celebration is, um, it's gonna be later in the year, right? Yeah, so really, you know, we were trying to think about a way to bring a lot of people together in, in a safe way to do that. And we thought we really need to kick that event into the summer. So um, at the beginning of June, we'll have a 100th birthday party, um, very likely at the Rotary. There'll be live music, food vendors, a cake cutting ceremony with the Man City Council. Um, and then, you know, local businesses will be able to participate that day as well. Um, we're shooting for a Saturday. So our hope is to get as many people out and about walking around and then, you know, they can walk over to local businesses and restaurants and participate in, in whatever sort of specials they want around that day. Um, it's really also, exciting. I'm sorry. Um, <laughs> Sorry, I just wanted to say, like, I think the posting that in the summer will make for a much better celebration we can do outdoors with more people um, and also appreciate being conscientious of the current health situation. Yes, absolutely. Our original plan was to hold a birthday party inside the O'Brien Community Center, you know, before Omicron and the numbers were surging and we just 
you know, we made the decision recently that that's just not in the best interest of our um, of our city to do something like that at this time. So moving it outside, there's tons of perks that come with that. Um, you know, I think we'll get a greater turnout and also who just doesn't want to be outside in the summer. So it's kind of a win-win to me, but. And then the last event that we have planned for the summer is going to be a centennial tree planting ceremony and an Abenaki, Abenaki land acknowledgement. And this was actually the tree planting ceremony was an idea from Council of Great Oak Leaf, um, which was a great idea, just acknowledging that a lot of the events that we have planned are celebrating Winooski's history, and it would be nice to have a forward-looking way to continue to celebrate Winooski. So we will be planting a tree at Richards Park. And also acknowledging that the Abenaki people were here in Winooski, you know, far longer than 100 years ago, and acknowledging them. Well, and the, the name Winooski is from the Abenaki language, actually. Um, and I think a lot of folks don't know, you know, we have historic sites in um, Memorial Park, down by the river, um, also near Cassavant. So there is a lot of history here going back that far. Yeah, absolutely. And to your point, there is a little um, uh, mention about that in the historical walking tour. That's the Winooski River site is one of the places in the walking tour, so people will be able to participate and hopefully learn more about the Abenaki people. So there's a lot of events and ways to participate, and folks can do so on their own. They can also, you know, attend some of these events and get to know other members of the community. And I think we have some other ways to celebrate. Yeah, um, just a couple more things. So right before the holidays, we had launched a store and online sales for Winooski themed 100th anniversary apparel. Um, so we're selling sweatshirts, two different kinds of t-shirts, two different kinds of hats. And um, that website is still very much up and running. We still have lots of inventory and folks will be able to make a purchase um, very likely anytime this year, um, but you can purchase stuff now and uh, schedule an, um, a pickup at a local pickup at the O'Brien Community Center. So wanted to let you know that that stuff is still available for purchase. You can show your Winooski pride um, and also celebrate our heritage. Yeah. Really looking forward to, you know, it's kind of monumental to be reaching our 100th anniversary. Um, looking forward for the opportunity to celebrate that just across the community to learn more about our history. You know, for those of us who didn't grow up here, mm -hmm. we might not, I don't remember um, the mill as a mall, although it's stories I've heard from, from older residents and I'm excited to be closer to that history. Yeah. And we'll also be pushing this information out, sending reminders out, getting more information out to community members um, as we approach this date. Yep, very true point. We're, you know, just in the process of starting to promote now that will be kicking off in the next couple of weeks once we work out all the finalized details. So definitely if you're not already, follow the city on social media. That's probably one of the best ways to stay up to date on these events. But also we're going to be posting from Port Forum pretty regularly. And then, you know, hopefully all the partners that we're working with here, like the school and Waterworks and the different museums, they will likely be cross-promoting these events on their channels as well. So give them a follow. Yeah, so March 1st, Tuesday, that Tuesday, that's town meeting day. And then the following week, that Monday the 7th, that is our official birth date and centennial. And those celebrations will start Sunday the 6th. Um, you can follow at VT on social media or visit winooskivt.gov and sign up for email updates from the city to keep on top of things. Thank you, Amy. I wanna thank you for joining us today, for coming to tell us a little bit about these upcoming events um, and how we are celebrating this anniversary in our city. Um, and really wanna thank everyone who's participated in the Centennial Committee. It's a really good group that I think brings a lot of different voices, history and perspective to the planning process. So we can have really inclusive celebrations that can, can appeal to all members of our community. Absolutely. Thank you for having me. And I also just want to give a shout out to the committee because they're a great, really, really great group to work with. So I thank them all for their participation. Well, thank you everyone for joining us again for another episode of In the World of Winooski.
I'm looking forward to the Winooski Centennial on March 7th of this year.